What's good, my people? Lockdown vibes today, man. I have to drop some reactions for you guys right there and there. Now, guys, welcome back to another Miss Felix Reaction Channel, guys. Round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who tuned in to yet another reaction on this here Miss Telix Reaction Channel or Miss Telix Reacts channel right there. And then, of course, big up to the masses out and large all over the place, all over the world. By the way, guys, I dropped some vlogs yesterday, some outside vlogs. You guys can definitely check that out. It's not on the membership vlog. Although, there's a video I have to post on the membership vlog as well. Um, It'll hopefully be out next week. Um, it's a wedding vibes and we're having fun and going crazy and stuff. Um, you guys will definitely check that out on the Mr. Lix Vlogs channel, guys. Mr. Lix Vlogs, this is Mr. Lix Reacts. Definitely go and subscribe to the Mr. Lix Vlogs or you can just type it in on YouTube and check out the first two videos. The first two videos, the, the, the two latest videos, guys, out there in this region. However, guys, this is, of course, why I tend to react to a number of videos taking place. We're in Dominica, the Caribbean, and the rest of the world by extension. This one pretty much deals with that of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, most specifically St. Vincent. And, of course, there was a whole situation taking place, and I received this video last week. I only got it, like, yesterday, guys. So, um, I'm going to play it for you guys, and then relate that back to the lady who apparently stoned uh, the SVG Prime Minister, Rav, Rav Gonzalez. Uh, anyways, let's get into it, right? Let, um, let's get, let us get into it right there. Night St. Vincent and the Grenadines. <laughs> this afternoon, about just after 2 p.m., I received a telephone call from my client, Adriana King. She informed me that black squad policemen were at her home, hmm. that they came to arrest her on some inquiry. She had no idea what the inquiry was about. She was alone at home with her six-year-old daughter. Before we continue, guys, those in Dominica... Pay close attention to what she's saying. This is happening in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Pay, pay close attention to what she's saying and see if you can actually fit that, what she's saying there, into Dominica. That did not face them. They arrested her. She had to take her child to a family member and took her to the Kingstown police station. Simultaneously, the police met Kenson King on the road. This time, um, SSU met him on the road and arrested him and took him to the Kittles police station. On inquiry, when I called, um, I was told that it has something to do with incitement. Hmm. Something we have very much heard in Dominica. Very, very familiar with. I am absolutely... Up to now, by the way, nobody's... Um, I'm getting arrested or I've been charged guilty for incitement. <laughs> Interesting. Absolutely sure that this is another phase in the harassment of the NDP personnel and other persons who have been organizing protests against the government. Hmm. We will not stand for it. This is one of the reasons why I think they, they're targeting individuals for people not to protest in Dominica. But people have a right to protest in Dominica. Just like St. Vincent and Grenadines, you have a right to protest. That way, what anybody wants you, you to believe when it comes down to this, um, in this regard. Hey, you cannot protest. No! Protest, people, if you have to protest, if there's, there's things that are going against you guys, protest, man. I have been trying to reach the head of CID, Mr. Um, let me correct that. Protest if it's against the constitution of the country. Things are happening where government doing all kinds of things and not telling the people and so forth and so forth. But then again, that's a different story to St. Vincent and Grenadines. Let us listen. Clostan Francis, I have called him several times. He has not returned my call. I have messaged him. He has not returned my message. I am a very <laughs> senior lawyer in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And if I call the head of state concerning my clients who they have arrested, I expect him to return my call. St. Vincent has a strange justice system right now. There seems to be two sides to the face of justice. <laughs> I am not aware that Ashel Morgan was ever arrested hmm. to date even though she had to answer a charge they never arrested her hmm. police has never turned up at her house to search for any gun or firearm or otherwise but we had last weekend police turning up at the homes of other ndp persons including the same kenson and adriana to search for firearm we will not <laughs> tolerate that is just an excuse they're using you see anybody had firearm inside there? Anybody was shooting bullets or nothing like that when they were doing the protests um, for, 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 for Rav to, to stop his dirty ways uh, with the mandatory stuff? You saw anybody with guns, so why don't you go in place and search for guns for? 
<laughs> this type of two-sided justice in St. Vincent. My clients are innocent. They have not committed any act. This is an ongoing saga to intimidate yep. persons who have been lawfully organizing demonstrations mm -hmm. against this wicked ULP regime. The government just want to feel like they can just do anything that they want. And the people are supposed to stay quiet. And there are literally people who are allowing these things to happen as if this everything is fine and dandy for them. Everything fine and dandy. Ooh, yay. Oh, government doing whatever they want. Billions of dollars outside. But when man protests and say we want to know what happened to a billion dollars. Or they want to take billion dollars to build airport and then we have to pay back people who don't even have the billion dollars, you know. <laughs> but we have to pay back these people from taking our own billion dollars from boy, I tell you boy. When you protest against these things now. People want to make you the protester feel like you are the bad one. When things are happening, when the monies could be used for betterment in Dominica. Or in, in uh, well, that is for Dominica, but in St. Vincent and Grenadines as well. In this, especially for this particular situation. They don't want it, don't give it to them. Simple. It seems now that the police is being used as a weapon against the people. In Dominica, very true. There's something I also noticed as well. Well, there's a, uh, an individual who told me. He asked me this question, um, how can the police just come for me and tell me that if, if, because they see me outside, they see a lot of people outside, you know, but because they see me outside, they decide to target me and tell me if they, if, if I don't go for a test, that they're going to find me $5,000. So you have, you do have a choice, you don't want to go in jail, or you don't want to um, pay $5,000, you don't have to go for the test. But I tell him to sue the police, man, sue the police, the police cannot just come for you. And decide, hey, I bring you for test. If you don't go for test, we find you five thousand dollars. When everybody else outside, sue them. I warn the commissioner of police. They want to say, oh, it's not from the pocket the money coming from. It's from being public, public person coming up from. Yes, but if you have to get raised and those kind of things, they won't have money to pay you when you go into the people that you're trying to um, to do harm to. That they took an oath. They took an oath to defend and protect. All the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, of which Kenson King and Adriana King a part is of. one. Yep. We will not have to sign the justice in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Shouldn't be. I call for their immediate release because this is not a police state. Hmm. No, guys, this is what I, I want to talk about here. This Good lady right there. My name is Alan Palmer, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Fruit and Mosey, the son, the last pro machismo. This picture that you're looking at is a photograph of a Leo lady of St. Vincent the Grenadines. Her name is Anna Mae Lewis. So she was also part of the protest in this regard. She, Let me pass that. I can't show that too much. Throwing that stone that was responsible for throwing anime was responsible for throwing that stone that collided with Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez's head and caused his injury. No, guys, we have the actual video of that right there. No, this is her. This is her right there. This is the lady that they're charging, right? I want you guys to see, notice something. As she partook in the protest action. And here we see another photograph of her. This is her right there. Notice you notice something flying. Let me, let me go back a bit for me for you. you. You notice this thing right there, guys? So unless she has some kind of telekinesis abilities or something like that. This lady right there. She could then telekinesis the stone with her mind to then fling right across their brothers and sisters to then collect the Prime Minister and this. This is her right there, guys. And she, of course, is being charged for doing harm to the Prime Minister of um, St. Vincent and Grenadines. Watch it again, guys. Look at her. See her right there. Look this stone. Look this stone about to projectile <laughs> above there. <laughs> I say projectile. This stone is the projectile. But it's about to be flung in the air as if it's David and Goliath that will fight in a battle amongst people. Slow mo. So it seems like it's that person, that person hand right there. Let me go back a bit. So wherever that person hand is, that is the stone right there. 
which made me wonder first of all when i when i saw the lady that they arrested for for hitting um gonzalez i found it very strange like i know i know back in the day people used to pelt mango and those kind of things there but i don't think that lady was a pelt of mango now she'll probably be the one collecting the mango and then for all you to say is that lady that Fute Gonzalez, I, I found it very interesting. But then I saw this video that came out showcasing that yes, a stone was indeed pelted, but this lady was no, she was in the picture, yes, but she was not the one flinging stone. This lady looked like somebody that does fling stone, that person that apparently fling stone was flinging stone for a living, but that person looking like somebody that was flinging stone there, in comparison to what the lawyer was saying again. Why are they, they trying to harass um, 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 individuals who, I mean, what, what is wrong with us in, what is wrong with us in the Caribbean? Uh, why do governments believe that they can just do whatever they want? You see, the people not holding the government them accountable. They're not holding them accountable for the things and the decisions that they make. They put you there in reference to the people, which means you have to consult the people first. The people telling you, no, they don't want this thing. You want to come and push things as if you use the, use the boss. You don't the boss. Take it easy, my boy. You're a servant of the people. Both you and Skerritt, I know both of you on different spectrums. But what I see in there is straight what I see happening in Dominica. When man protesting against the ills of the government and the secrecy of the government. And then people hear and all kind of thing happening. That is the same thing you see happening in St. Vincent. Incitement because they have no other art thing to do. To, to. <laughs> hey. Incitement is not when you pl you planning to, to, to do wickedness to the government now. Nah? No, 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 you or you chant, you telling the people to do wickedness to the government. Isn't that what incitement is? People telling the government for him to check his dirty ways, and instead of checking his dirty ways, people, other people, then supporting. It's kind of remind me of the bus drivers, them, you know. The bus drivers were protesting and stuff. They are there protesting. Hey, we need some help and thing. You see this and da 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 da. The other bus drivers protesting against the same bus drivers. We. And when the bus drivers did get through with getting monies and stuff, the first set of people to come and get monies were the people protesting, the bus drivers who were protesting, the bus drivers protesting the government. <laughs> Boy, you see how human beings funny? Human beings are a strange set of creatures, man. Strange. So yes, we put the blame on some of the individuals on top, but we also have to put the blame on the people themselves. I remember the African pro, um, professor who stated that, that, that very profound um, 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 set of words. The people get what they truly deserve. The people get what they truly deserve. And then I even went further on to say it's not just the people at the top who are corrupt, but they also the people at the bottom who are also corrupt. Whether it be for manipulation or whatever, they are also corrupt. Because if you're allowing yourself to be bought... Instead of you reasoning and seeing what things are going on. Hey, is it helping us? Is the country going down? Is economy going down? Nothing like that. Instead you're doing that, you say, oh, let me look up for myself. I get me $5,000, man. Let me get a five, ten thousand dollars so I can do a little. Let me get some ply. Every five years, let me get some ply so I can build my house after 50 years. Not true. Ply bought a house after 50 years. I mean, people don't think. But they don't see that. The people them are equally as corrupt. This is why I feel people like me, I, yes, I put out these videos and, and let people know what's going on and stuff. I mean, the, the people of St. Vincent, this is... This is <laughs> boy, tell you, boy. Why are, why are we in the Caribbean like that? I've heard of corruption taking place in Africa, corrupt governments and this kind of people there. Although I've noticed a lot of them are ended up in jail. Most likely that will happen in, in, in the Caribbean as well. I mean, all you're doing all kind of strange things against the people. I think SVG is a bit different in this regard. They're trying to push um, mandatory stuff on the people. But it's you to listen to the people and then, you know, advise the people is that. And if the people, if you advise the people and the people are like, no, we don't want it. You can't make this stuff mandatory on them. People break out in anarchy. I don't, I don't see what are you causing. Well, then again, they probably got paid from the higher up to do these kind of things. This is the same thing that is happening in Africa, in certain places in Africa. Where the leaders them get millions of dollars. Hey, I'll give you two million US dollars. I'll give you a brand new big house. All you have to do is just let me come in and do certain things. And because they, they do this, I, I was poor growing up. Let me just take this. This is why they say you never make a poor man run a country. <laughs> Don't be guys. <laughs> hey. Because the poor man will try his best for him to move from his poverty instead of doing things for the people. You will try to make himself rich. You never make a poor man run a country. I'm not saying that for all poor people. Some people, poor people actually see, you know, that they can actually do something. 
But it's a heck of a thing when money start infiltrating people's mind and greed and sometimes envy of other people and what they have. You want to have it too, so you then try to put things in place to then become like these people. Hey, I'm a prime minister. I need a mansion to stay in. I need different things. I cannot be staying in my own mansion in Vegas. No. I need to stay in my own mansion in... <laughs> Anyways, guys. Uh, I sorry for the whole situation. I had to include Dominic and the whole thing. But St. Vincent, the point is all you must listen to all the people. They put all you there to listen to people, not for you to do what you want. Stop your naughty ways, please. And give the lady the lady. But answer the lady for me, please. That was about... I got this a, a, a week ago. So I guess the protest took place about two weeks ago. So, I mean, the lady not making joke with all you. And I think people need to just start suing the government and suing police and all kind of people there. Because they just want to do things. Don't get me wrong, guys. There's not all police and government are bad, you know. It's just that the minority is then controlling the majority. And when the majority is being quiet, they two are equally as responsible. What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below as well. Because apparently they are in, they are in St. Vincent, the plan to use the police to go against the people. You are there to protect the people, not to fight against the people. What kind of police nonsense is this, sir? The people have a right to protest you, then coming for the people as if the people, yeah, tell you what you... Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. This is pretty much all about for this here reaction. This is just my thoughts on, on, on the, the videos and stuff, incorporating Dominica as well as St. Vincent. Tell all government officials to stop their dirty ways. Ralph, Ralph, I was giving you props, man, because when I noticed your stats on the economy, I noticed that your stats in the economy was doing well. Because you became the regional food basket, Dominica should have been the food basket for the, for the, for the Caribbean. But you, you guys take on, on that responsibility. Where all man selling passport, you guys decide, hey, let's look into agriculture and stuff. Dominica can still come in and whoop, whoop all you if we decide to focus on agriculture. Because that is our bread and butter. Agriculture is our bread and butter. That is the thing. We're always trying to be like other people. Trying to go into tourism and all those things. There. Yes, we have nature and all those things. Everywhere have nature. We're trying to promote Dominica as in nature, the Caribbean. Dominica is in nature, the Caribbean. That's all you call it. But everywhere have nature. Eh? You think Dominica has more nature than South, Af South America? You think Dominica has more nature than Jamaica and all those places there? We just promote ourselves as a nature, of the Caribbean. But agriculture is our thing. That, of course, will definitely have a handle on. We will definitely have a handle on that. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Ralph, stop your naughty ways for me, please. Okay? Stop your naughty ways. It seems like everything lives in Dominica. Agriculture live in Dominica, Ross live in Dominica already. Bye -bye. Oh boy, we try to go for tourism and tourism is a difficult market to enter. Anyways, let me leave that alone. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Give this video a thumbs up if you understand it and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they come through. Definitely go and check out the outside vlogs that I did. Um, curfew vibes outside in curfew and, and, and traffic jam in Rosu, all kind of stuff like there. I'm right there. So definitely check that out, guys. Uh, post that link in the first comment in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.